We continue to see the Nikkei outperform. Tell us, would you suggest that investors just put money broadly into Japan, or are there certain sectors like we're seeing here in America with tech showing leadership that you think are better investments? So first of all, I think that I'm going to touch on uh, what are the reasons behind this impo impressive performance of the Japanese equity market since 2023. So the first reason is the extremely loose monetary policy you already mentioned. So over the last decade, our research shows that liquidity has been one of the most important drivers of asset prices. So while we expect that Bank of Japan is going to normalize its policy somewhere um, and sometime this year, it is still at an extremely accommodative level. The second reason of this impressive performance is what we see is much more attractive, what we call a Japan Inc from both valuation and the corporate reform perspective. For example, um, if you look at the Jap Japanese equity from a valuation perspective, it's much more attractive than, for example, US equity, even after an impressive 2023 performance. And then we okay. continue to see this broader earning upgrade and the corporate reform gaining momentum, which are adding to this, um, this impressive performance. Gotcha. gotcha. So that, that's kind of the setup. That's why it's so attractive. So let me hit on some of the things you're just talking about. Um, the rates in Japan, nothing's expected during this two-day meeting, but in general, the direction of rates, the expectations, is that good or bad for investors? So I think the picture is much more mixed. On one hand, you do see the headwind potentially is going to for the equity market because of the increasing sign for BOJ to normalize its policy. At the same time that we also see the global central banks are expected to start to cut in cycle. So the stronger currency of Japan might become a, a headwind for the equity market. Right. But on the other hand, as I mentioned earlier, BOJ is only expected to move from uh, even as early as March from what we call a negative interest rate policy right. to zero interest rate policy. Okay, Eddie, let me jump in for a second. So you're giving us yeah. the other hand. I want to go back to the first hand, the weaker yen. No. The dollar's actually risen about 5% compared to the yen year to date. So with that weaker yen right now, does that make uh, Japan broadly an attractive investment? Or are you looking at certain sectors, at least while the yen is weaker? Yes. So from a broader uh, a Japanese market, we do see the attractiveness coming from a weaker yen. But on the other hand, uh, through the direction of the travel of this year, that we do see some potential of the stronger yen. And in that case, that I think there are two sectors potentially can benefit from that. Number one is the banking sector. So the relaxation of the yield curve control, as well as exit of the negative interest rate, this is going to help the banking sector to actually repair its return on equity, as Got well it. as for the profitability. But on the other hand, uh, the tech and the IT sector, which are the sector uh, are going to be less impact in terms of or less sensitivity to the currency movement. And okay. that is a sector that we want to focus on.